Hello YouTube. I recently acquired the Arrow Ava cabinet and I would like to give a brief review of that. But before I do, I have to of course give you the backstory. So I had this vanity that is a family heirloom. It's well over a hundred years old and it has its issues, but at the same time, it has its sentimental value. Um, in the top right corner of the dresser, you can see the original drawer pull there, but the other four drawer pulls eventually just fell off and I replaced them with drawer pulls from Hobby Lobby. Um, I love the dresser, but at the same time, it wasn't serving me well because I really needed the space for embroidery and to expand on the embroidery that I do. So I eventually put this dresser into a storage unit and got the Arrow Ava. Um, I had a lot of trouble putting the Arrow Ava cabinet together. And in a second, you're about to see um, that take place. Um, the Arrow Ava cabinet came to me in four boxes. Um, all of the pieces were labeled except for a few of them. And it took me quite a bit of time to figure out what went where. Um, the drawer pulls I have been working on getting installed for the past couple of days with no success and I finally figured out how to do it. Um, so basically when you have a soft closed drawer, this end here, I don't know if you can see that well, Let's see if my camera will focus. This end here is the drawer stop. So the drawer stop has to go facing towards the face of the cabinet. So it has to go on facing this way. And then the end down there has to remain loose. When I did this, I did some of them backwards where the loose end was at the front instead of being at the back like it should be. And that is a problem because what you will end up doing is knocking everything off track like this, which now I have to do some remaneuvering to fix this problem. So once again, I will show you one more time. When you install the rails, this end is the stop and it has to go down here. And this end down here has to remain open. So that is basically it. I will get back to installing these cabinets and then I will show you what the final uh, results are and what it ended up looking like. I know it seems really stupid that I would make that mistake, but I am a person who is into sewing, not somebody that knows how to build stuff. I know you're probably wondering why the heck you're looking at BB gun bullets right now, but BB gun bullets were the only thing that I could come up with to replace the little balls that fell out of the soft closed drawers. Um, those little balls, they fell everywhere and they were all over my space and I was not able to find all of them. So if you know of some better solution other than using BB gun pellets, then please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it for future reference, but I strongly doubt that I will be building any more furniture for a very, very long time. So this is what the Arrow Ava cabinet turned out looking like. I really like it a lot, but there's also some things that I dislike about it. Before I get into talking about what I like and dislike about the Arrow Ava cabinet, I first have to mention one other thing about the drawers. So when you pull out these drawers, there are two tabs, one on each side. When you depress the tab on both sides, it causes the drawer to pull all of the way out. Um, I wish I would have known that when I was building the cabinet it would because it would have made it so much easier for me to put the drawers inside of the cabinet but um, if you're watching this and have yet to get this cabinet and would like to get it then um, that is something to note um, as far as things that I love about this cabinet one it has a ton of storage so this top drawer here I haven't had a chance to fill yet but it has all of this space here for putting your thread 
Then two, you have this whole area here for placing your larger cones of thread. And as you can see, I keep all of my cones of thread covered with Ziploc bags because I don't like for my um, thread cones to get dust and dirt all over them. So that's why I have that there. Um, also, I really like these long drawers here because they give you plenty of space for storing your embroidery hoops. My favorite feature of this cabinet is this space here. I didn't know how much I needed this space <laughs> until I actually got a cabinet with the space. Um, it allows me to do hoodies and all sorts of things without the material getting in the way and getting snagged and messing up. Um, I really love that feature. And last but not least, I like that it's on rollers or on casters because I can easily move this unit around anywhere that I'd like to move it. Now, as far as dislikes, uh, first and foremost, I will say that I dislike the build quality on this. It is made from like a particle board material. And then on top of the particle board, you have like this kitchen countertop material uh, is where the white is. And then they've put like edge bending along the edges here. Um, the problem with that is that if you, I don't know if you can see back there uh, where the material has separated from the particle board and uh, you can see the particle board right there. Uh, I'm going to go back and fill that in with some caulking, but that is completely unacceptable for a piece that costs so much money. Um, if I had not gotten this free with my embroidery machine, I would definitely be sending it back just for that reason alone. Although I love the cabinet and the space it provides, that would be unacceptable to me if I were actually spending that amount of money on the cabinet. Now, um, the other thing that I dislike about this cabinet is that it has some odd spaces. So, instead of placing another cabinet right here of equal size and length, they left it open. So, there's this weird space. You see all of this deep space back here. It's a couple feet, actually, of space. Just empty. And I don't know what to do with it because... A basket is too tall to fit in this space um, and not long enough to use up all of the space. So it's just like a weird area. And you also have another one down here. And I really do feel like they should have put another cabinet or, or another drawer here identical to this one. In this drawer I have... Um, all of the materials that came with the machine as well as extra cables in the manual. Over here, there should have been another drawer, but there's not. So I have uh, some of my embroidery threads here. And I have a video on how I actually made this um, embroidery thread storage tote. Um, if you would like to see more about how to make a tote like this one, um, then I will leave a link down in the description box below. And also I'll try to leave a link somewhere here on screen. But I'm going to get this out of the way. If you can actually see down here, this is a ton of space, a ton of wasted space. When you could have just put another drawer right there. It's like they tried to cheap out on the whole deal by doing that. And I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. But other than that, um, I really do like the cabinet. Um, it just gives me a place to put my embroidery machine, so I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. But please do let me know your thoughts down in the description box below. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing-related content.